Okay, so we have the welder all set up, and I just want to show you a couple things real fast. Here's the app, here's my phone sitting on it, and I can change my power right here. Now, your power is from 1 to 12. Now, as you can see here, when you're at a higher number, it's showing a red color, and a corresponding color shows up in the chamber where you put your hands. And then same thing, as you go to a lower number like 1, or two, then it's green and the box is green. That's a pretty cool feature about this to see where you're at with, uh, with your power settings. You could be looking through this and change your power and, and know because the color of the chamber will change colors. And it stays that color for a couple seconds and then goes away and you can have a crisp, clear view of what you're welding. Now, inside the box, there's also another knob that you can turn left and right to change power. So as I change that knob, the, colors change, or the color changes, um, but then also if I have my app up here, the number on my phone changes as well. Um, lastly, to change the focus or how big the laser beam is, the light beam is, up at the top of the chamber there's a little, it's like a little metal piece and you can move it forward or backwards. If you move it away from your body, the farthest to the back of the machine, that'll make the beam really tight, uh, really small. So if you have high power and that uh, adjuster knob is pushed all the way to the back, it, it'll penetrate deeper into the metal. Now if I pull that all the way towards me, it opens the beam and makes it wider. Um, and with that, you can use it more for smoothing. Uh, it won't penetrate as deep. It's, it's going to be... Uh, less powerful on the metal that you're welding. Generally kind of right in the middle if you move that back and forth and, and stop right in the middle is a good general setting for starting out and then you can adjust from 1 to 12 and play around with those different settings to find what works best for you. Other things to know you can move your eyepieces in and out this way there's a plus sign right here and then a line with a dot on it and that's a good, it's the middle area, that's where I like to have it. Uh, when you look through this eyepiece, there's a ruler in there. And so in order to have the ruler straight, uh, going up and down vertically, that's where you want to have that. But just make sure both sides are lined up the same so that they're the same distance so your eyes can focus in on what you're looking at. Now, aside from that, that's the Datto. It's very simple, it's very easy to use. Uh, all the parameters are already preset. All you do is change that power from 1 to 12. The more you use the machine, the more you're going to know between 1 and 12 what's best for what you're working with, whether it's gold or silver or platinum or titanium or whatever. Um, but you can adjust the power and then you can adjust the beam, the focus of the, the beam. And by doing those two things, that gives you everything you need. Enjoy!